It's Steve here from Tweaktown. Today I'm taking a look at the Arduino 101, the Intel-based Arduino platform. It is a little bit more expensive than the Uno. However, using this example code, I am able to basically go ahead and see the board in three dimensions because of the built-in gyroscope and accelerometer. I've went ahead and increased the, decreased the sensitivity enabled manual calibration, disabled automatic calibration. Now how am I going to visualize this board? The pins on the board are actually less on the bottom and more on the top and you will see this in the next program on the left. The program on the left is called processing and it, it will allow me to visualize the code coming out of the Arduino for raw pitch and roll. And we can see right now I'm loading up the code and I have to have it on a perfectly horizontal surface so that it can calibrate which happens right after the code is loaded up which is right now now I'm opening up the example code that I had got from the Arduino website for processing and I am launching it in a second yep here we go the raw inputs are in the black box and in the other window is the actual board visualized in three dimensions you can see the number of pins on the top and bottom will help me reference the exact motion that's going on. You can see that this is basically the board rotating around a point and as long as it rotates around that point everything is fine. This code is not designed for me to move it in three dimensions and get the accelerometer involved too much and mess things up. However, it's inevitable that that will happen. So after a little while, as you will see really shortly, the board will fall out of calibration with what's, on, what, with what's on the screen. It does try to compensate, however, the remedy for this is <laughs> writing your own code, which is what you're supposed to do. These example codes are pretty fun to play with, and they can be very practical and a great starting point, but of course, with anything made for development or learning or education, this isn't the final form, and you're going to go ahead and improve the code, right? So, I don't have time to do that since I have to look over all the other features but I just want to show you how this one works and how easy it is to set up launch and use uh, right now I'm looking at the Bluetooth capabilities of the 101 first we have an LED and this LED will give a status of Bluetooth connection the potentiometer is hooked up to the analog zero port and will give a battery status reading as I turn it the NRF control panel uh, mass control panel here we see uh, I'm scanning it has found it but I have not connected the signal strength is around negative 42, moving away, and you can't see that. Uh, bring, bringing it back, uh, the signal strength gets stronger, and you can see the signal strength and the distance. I can go about 30 feet uh, and maintain a connection, maybe 30 to 50. Now I connect, light comes on, yes. Now I go to the sketch, uh, the default sketch. This is an example code. Battery service, reading, and the reading shows 99%. I want real-time reading, so I'm going to hit the button right next to it. Boom. And now we have real-time reading of the potentiometer from 0 to 100%. The map function within the default code, or the example code, will provide this capability. It's quite cool. Now, as I turn the potentiometer, I will see this percentage go down to 0. So it is mapping 1024 units to 100. And it, I can get single digit increases and decreases however you this is just the penetrometer is just emulating a battery sensor or any other type of sensor you can put in that gives an analog reading or even a digital input reading you can always alter the default code i just want to show how easy it was to use the kiri ble uh, battery indication sketch so thank you for watching if you have any questions please post them in the review